Hey guys, there have been a lot of big changes to the game recently, along with some announcements made, so let's just talk about everything that's happened in the past week or so. We'll get the quick stuff out of the way first. First up, Hard Mode King's Fall will be releasing on October 23rd, that's a Friday, at 10 a.m. PDT. More time zones are in the description. The recommended light for hard mode is 300 to 320, and loot drops will be in the 310 to 320 light range. Next, Trials of Osiris was ready to be launched this weekend, but has been delayed due to a glitch with a certain super. This glitch would basically ruin Trials of Osiris, so Bungie has opted to delay Trials as opposed to letting it go live and having everyone complain that people are glitching. They are working on a fix now, but I think it's safe to say that we won't see Trials of Osiris until it's fixed. Shout out to everyone who helped spread this disease of a glitch to the community, it is very much appreciated. Next, in patch 2.0.1, the strange coin and moat of light economy got a little bit of a nerf. Moats of light were adjusted in the following way. From completing public events, moats have been increased by 100%. From earning XP after level 40 have been increased from 3 to 5 moats. From faction packages reduced from 5 to 4. From dismantling rare and legendary items reduced about 25%, and from the daily Vanguard and Crucible bounties reduced about 50%. Then Strange Coins got nerfed as well. From faction packages reduced from 5 to 4, and from daily Vanguard and Crucible bounties reduced by about 50%. Weapon parts also got a nerf in that the amount you get from dismantling uncommons and rares was reduced by about 25%. Now a lot of people complained about this and were wondering, why the hell they would make this change, and today Bungie explained why. Quote, In year two, we took steps to streamline and simplify the economy for players, with hopes that providing more direct paths to gear and the stuff you needed to upgrade that gear would just be more satisfying across the board. Changes to the economy of the game are made in the interest of preserving the value of the items in your inventory and ensuring that you have good uses for the things that you're saving. Weapon parts, specifically, have been particularly vexing. Some players use a lot of parts, whereas others use almost none. Still, we are very aware that this is a choke point for some players, and further adjustments may be in order. In all cases, we're watching our reports and listening to feedback, and we will continue to react to how things are going." End quote. So it just kind of sounds like they don't want people hoarding massive amounts of materials and that they want decision making in the game to actually be a thing, making a decision on whether or not to upgrade this weapon or that weapon. I also know a lot of people who complained about this change, but were also the kinds of people to blow 500 moats on 5 faction reputation levels and then complain that they had no more moats. Am I happy about the change? Not really, I like being able to get a lot of stuff, but I understand why they did it. The next big ticket thing was that data miners found consumables that were going to increase the drop rate of items in the raid, and it was speculated that you were going to be able to buy these things with silver. That has been disproven. They were items of the past that you weren't even going to use silver to buy, you were going to use coins or flakes to buy them, but they ended up taking out those items. A subclass infusion item was also data mined recently, but there has been no clarification on the status of that item. That item instantly leveling your subclass for some currency, whether it be silver or some other in-game item. Let me know your thoughts on that. If you could buy an item for real money that instantly leveled your subclass for you, I assume most of you would be against that, as would I. It's not technically a power increase, but it is something that gives you the ability to unlock certain nodes faster than others, which may give you an advantage, which I'm not a huge fan of. What if you could buy that item with in-game currency? Would you be for or against that? Next, a lot of people complain about Sunbreakers in PvP. Bungie's looking at their data and will continue to update us once they have what they need in terms of their data. Finally, Bungie knows that Nightfall rewards tend to be a little bit lacking. In response, Bungie said, quote, There is another update inbound as soon as next week that will deliver more frequent and more powerful legendary rewards to the Nightfall loot tables. We'll save the specific numbers for the patch notes. And of course, the best reality about the nature of those rewards will be found in your personal feedback. So it sounds like they know people don't like getting light level 283 legendary gloves and two motes as their reward, which is good. Hopefully, we will see less antiquated runes as well. That is your big news update. A lot of things going on, but I think I hit everything. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.